Well, hello, friends. It's your buddy Keith here with the lovely Tiana. And we are here in the control room live at the world famous Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in South End on Sea, England, baby. And today we've got a super rare Fender guitar to share with you guys. So if you're new to the channel and you want to see more of Tiana and more of me and more cool guitars, make sure you click subscribe, hit the like button, leave some comments and love and follow us on all the socials at Essex Recording Studios. And if you want to buy this exact guitar that we're going to talk about, and there's a lot to talk about with this one, has some crazy history. If you want to buy this, just head on over to EssexRecordingStudios.com and you will see the for sale section, all your guitars, and you can buy it there. That's where we have our lowest prices. And for Americans, you don't have any of that silly online sales tax that you get like on eBay and Reverb. But we will list this on eBay and Reverb just in case you prefer to buy it there. Cool. All right, guys. So let's chat about this. This is the 2011 uh, Fender Old Growth Telecaster. You'll see here on the uh, the hang tag, it's listed as a Browns Canyon Telecaster. And what is phenomenal about this guitar and super, super duper rare is that it is made out of redwood tree from California. And yes, it is endangered. No, you may not cut down redwood trees and make guitars, which is why this is so incredible and so rare. This is what's called an old growth redwood Telecaster. And when they say old growth, they mean this has been like upcycled from redwood that was chopped long ago, 19th century, 1890s, these logs were cut and used in Browns Canyon. And uh, Tiana, what did you think? We, we looked at the photos on Google Images. What did you think of... Uh, it's very cool. You've it, got to check them out. It's, uh, it's crazy. So it's this giant railway bridge. And it's just like what you're thinking about in like old Western movies with the crazy trestle where it, it looks like on a long distance shot. It's like, it looks like it's made out of a thousand toothpicks. And you're like, how in the world does a train go across the huge valley with that. That's exactly what this is built out of. And the only way you can get a guitar made out of this is by building it out of um, recycled wood chopped down in the 1800s. That's really the only way you can do it. And I guess they took down that, that bridge and that canyon. Now it's whitewater rafting through there um, out in Occidental, California. But, uh, yeah, you, you, you've got to see it. It looks incredible. And I found this in Brighton here in the UK. And I said, this is probably my only opportunity to ever have a redwood tree, a, a guitar made out of a redwood tree. And it sounds really interesting. It's very resonant, very musical, and it's pretty light. Like it's not super light, but it's not like a big, hunky, chunky mahogany body either. Very, very resonant. And I, I can touch the body. I still feel it vibrating. It's um, it's super cool. And we will do a video. I'll try to get one done maybe on Monday where I'll have someone plug this in, demo it, and put it through all its paces. So stay tuned. I know a lot of you are going to want to hear this thing. But we're just showing you the up-close details. And so you can see like exactly what redwood grain looks like. And so that you know the condition of this guitar as well because it is quite valuable and likely someone is going to be buying this off of us from across the world. And they're going to want to know, like, what is the exact condition? What are the features? What are we dealing with? So the neck is called a 52 hot rod neck, according to Fender. And when they did this series, by the way, so they did it in 2011 for the 60th uh, anniversary of the Telecaster. And they called it Telebration. And they did a few series of Fender special runs of limited edition Telecasters that all have a story to tell. And with this one, it was a limited run of 500. And this was the Brown Canyon uh, um, railway story. That was what was special about this. And it's really interesting, the, the detail of the grain and how the body's put together. It's gorgeous. The neck on this as well. It's quite pretty. You've got a gloss, like I said, gloss 52, hot rod neck, vintage tuners, what I, or vintage tuners, vintage pickups. What I saw 
on the original ad, I didn't see what the neck pickup was listed as, but it said the bridge pickup was Fender Custom Shop 62. That's what it said. 62 Fender Custom Shop uh, bridge pickup. And I saw that on the original advertisement from GAC. Now, given that this is 11 years old, I'll have Tiana hold this up here, actually. Thanks. Oh, it looks good on you. I never knew you were a tele player. That's yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, so let's come over here into the light. Step into the light. There we go. And now you can get a good sense of what this looks like. All right, flip her around. Let's see. There we go. Really cool figuring on the wood. I mean, things that you just do not see on any other type of material. Uh, definitely a must have. You know, it's it's pretty crazy to be able to say you have a guitar built out of a redwood tree. And I can't imagine, you know, 11 years ago they built 500. How many of these are floating around today? You know, I've never seen one before. And it's, it's something that uh, I think is truly special, not just because I'm over from the States, but I mean, the redwood trees are, uh, I think they're the largest trees in the world. I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty <laughs> sure they are. Yeah. I think that, I think they are. And what they were saying is the, the tree might've been cut down in, in 1890, but at that time it would have been like 500 years old, you know? So you're talking about a very, very old piece of wood here that uh, has a lot of history behind it. Occidental, by the way, Occidental, Occidental California is where Browns Canyon is. And Occidental means the West, out West. So I, I just love that. I love, I love all of the story and background on this very special limited edition guitar. Uh, as far as damage goes, there's a little ding up there. Uh, spinner around. I think I saw a little, little ding. The nice thing about this is it's all natural. It's natural hand rubbed wood finish so if you ever wanted to refinish it you can do that it's not like i'll take this off your hands it's not like something that's like a gloss painted color where you know oh my goodness it'll, it'll never be the same i mean with real wood you can just sand and stain you know personally i would just keep it exactly the way it is sure it's got a few little you know, dings and impressions in the wood. That's what you get with a natural wood body. And I mean, at the end of the day, this was used to support a, a railway bridge, you know, for trains, for steam locomotives in the Victorian era. So it should have some dings and imperfections and everything else that goes along with that. Just gives it extra stories. Yes, exactly. And, and you know, so in the Victorian era, this thing was helping get uh, trains out way out west into California and now it's sitting in a recording studio in England of all places how crazy is that and now you know it'll have a new chapter and you get to be part of writing that new chapter for this ancient piece of wood very very cool very special all right guys well I'm gonna get going I've got some beers that Tiana brought over for me so I have to go drink them and uh yeah We'll make some more guitar videos for you shortly. Stay tuned as well. Make sure you're subscribed. I will get a demo of this because for God's sake, we got to get uh, a sound demo of what a redwood tree built guitar sounds like. And we will do it. All right, guys, I'll catch you later.